Did you have fun? Would you rather go to the UFC or watch at home? I find it very stressful. The energy that it's like it's I, like it's like you're the you're in the app. It's like you're almost like at a three hundred. Like a, yes, I'm trying to like think a Spartan why. Though. Old school life. So there's blood in the air. Is that there's what it is? A, and, the, like, and also, you can feel the fan base energy. They want to see violence. It's, it, they want to see like knockouts. That. Yeah, like rip his head off. <laughs> right. And then and then if they're on the ground, boo. Fuck them up. Yeah, so it makes me a little bit sad about humanity. Yep. Like I'm, 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 I've been trying to figure out why when I get there, I'm always on edge. And part of it is that- It's so stressful. And even like the people, everybody there feels a little bit like, um, like, like I, I think I'm reminded of how brutal human beings can be mm -hmm. and how overwhelming the, 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 yeah, and like, most you people, see a lot of and, and most people men. bought tickets just to see somebody get knocked unconscious the most violent way possible. Yeah, and you see a lot of men. That's why they came. Most of most people there aren't se rabid fans. Right. And most of them, yeah, I'll go. They buy tickets. They're gonna get drunk. They want to see somebody get knocked unconscious. Yeah, if that doesn't happen. Their night is ruined. But but you also see something else. Like I, I reminded of the the competitive nature of human beings. So. I'll see a lot of guys who are strong, brutal-looking men. Cauliflower ears, big, strong guys. Then you see a lot of celebrities, and and with their girls. And there's something that is there's something about that kind of celebrity. I don't, it doesn't matter what they are, like it'd be pro football players or actors. And there's you're reminded of how competitive everything is in life. Mm -hmm. You know, you see a billionaire they're, over there, and then but so you just see this no, thing, no and then they're all like, about ah, yeah. But you know? there's that, and then you know, in in, in, in Gladiator, mm -hmm. when Caesar does this, and he's with the lead. There you go. There's that. You got Mark Zuckerberg. They're like, mm, yes, oh yes. Yeah. One's yeah. like, oh Zuckerberg, ah, la, 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 la. Yeah. and then you got Dana there, worth a billion. You got Rogan there versus five yeah. five hundred million. Yes. You got Brian there for two thousand yeah. dollars, and then you got like all these billionaires, right? Yes. Like, and these celebrities, and they're just watching the most violent men in the world going, "Yes, yes." Well, that's how it's. And they're going to jump on their private jets. It's just a weird vibe. Yeah. So, so you know what? You know, what? like it's just a weird thing. That's what I mean. It's like so. So here's the other thing about it. On that, like you have these very successful people watching two people who came from probably very little. And they're putting everything on the line, okay? And they have nothing in common and with them. No. There's, when I say there's nothing in common, mm, right? they have nothing. Mark Zucker, Zuckerberg has more in common with a fucking Game Boy than he does Alex Volkanovsky. Yeah, so what they happens cannot is relate. you're looking at these two guys, and I was watching Alex, right? And this extraordinary human being who's done everything to get there. And then he gets shut off in front of all of them. And everybody's like, ah, like that. And then he's left alone yes. over here. And, and the forgotten broken one. And then this other guy for now, for now, is all the rage. So the whole party goes over to him like, hey, and Joe's like, ah. forget about Alex. And then Alex, we'll talk to you in a sec, but he's over there while, and then you see his, his, his crew kind of like tap him on the butt, like, you know. And I, I. And remember, his family's watching back at home. <laughs> he's getting half of his pay. His sponsorships, they dry up. Exactly. Mark Zuckerberg, those phone calls dry up. You ain't flying to Zuckerberg's Island now. No, no, that's gone. Well, whatever the case, all, I'm like, just saying all that that's dries right. up. That's how I now feel. they now their attention goes to towards yes. Topiria. Yes, or Sugar Sean, the, the the next trending guy. Yes, and such a it's a it's just a nasty. And then you know everybody who's vibe. there is holding that belt is eventually if they stick around long enough. The only one I can think of is maybe GSP, but if they stick around long enough, that will happen. Now they're appreciated when the camera shows up on their face like Chuck Liddell, you know, but overall. Was it worth it? Overall. Name someone they showed on camera that doesn't have CT. Mm. I'll wait. Those legends? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. In my head, I'm like, holy shit, was it worth it, bud? To that's, get recognized at the UFC? That's, that's kind of why. You put, you put your life on the, you, your health is online. You're paying for it now. Yeah. The UFC pays you how much? Yeah. They'll show you on camera. How much are they giving you to cover your family's food? Oh, zero? That's the number? Was it worth it? Some would say yes. Most of them would say yes. Because what else would they do? It's 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 just it's just watching and like in anything in life. Like I've tried really hard to be good at something, and you know, and I think when you try really hard, like I've been at this business a long time. I've had a lot of success. Also, there's been a long time. You know, you ha you have ups and downs. You have failures, and 
you're always just reminded of how how much people love you when you're at the top and how everybody forgets you when you're at the bottom it's just the way nature is the way life nature it's all good i'm not saying you know but i'm saying something about fighting when you're in your underwear and you get knocked out and you're just left there. It's the because because in comedy, I, I, I just hate in comedy it. and podcasting is a gradual, right? A gradual. And all yeah, but sudden, you can have renaissance. Yeah, it come goes back, up and down. Live to fight another day. Yeah, but it happens gradually. Yeah, fighting. It's it's this, <sighs> and you're like, whoa! I, what do you mean I can't get in the club? That's right. Last year they I was they I didn't even have to wait. Nah, sorry, but you got to wait. You got to pay this time too. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's that's what bums me out about not just fighting, but in some ways my culture. In some ways, American culture is what have you done for me lately? And if you're not in people's faces, especially in this fucking weird world, you are nobody. And I just find that to be, I've always, always found that to be depressing. I've never thought differently about that. I've always found it to be, I guess it's reality. I guess it's stark, brutal Reality, especially in the but fight it's game. Not everybody's but, reality. Especially in the fight game. Like in the NFL, when they show, say, Barry Sanders or Joe Montana the Super Bowl, and they have the gold jackets on, you're like, oh, fuck, dude, legend. Yes. And we know they're okay. Yes. Because we know they've been compensated. They've made millions yes. upon millions of dollars. Yes. They have health insurance. Yes. We know they're, they have endorsement deals even to now. We know the NFL is currently still paying them a salary because they played all these years. They're okay. Yes. We go, yeah, legend, dude, fuck yeah, Joe Montana. You see Chuck Liddell, Van Lego. Oh, man, I used to love that guy. And party goes, fuck. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Because you know he's not taking care of. They're not do- giving him anything. Nothing. Except for a free ticket to the show. It's just what That's, you sign up that, for. And, you, and it's, it's the elephant. It's the elephant. Yeah. But we shouldn't sign up for that. That doesn't work for me. They I need agree. to fucking change it. Go, nah, that's fighting. It shouldn't be, bitch. Because those motherfuckers are making all the money. And guys like Chuck Liddell, Vanderlei Silva, Dan Henderson have to come up with certain ways after the, these the Hall of Fame legends. They have to come up with ways to pay their mortgage. And it's not right. And it's going, ah, it's part of the game. Fuck you, dude. It's not. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It's not right. That's why you feel that way. Because you know how all their movie ends. We all know how I their do. movie ends. I do. I've seen You've it. seen it. That's seen why it. you don't feel good, bud. Yeah. That's why I don't go. Yeah, it... it, it um and I, I was talking to and, and and hold on, I don't yeah. mean to re- and I love this. I love the UFC. Yeah, me too. I bleed the UFC. I've given everything to UFC. Yeah, I have a that's, part of the, that's part of the thing. I right? live the UFC. I yeah. support them in every way possible. Yeah, I I fought there for years. I love the UFC. Give me my following. I love it. But and there's nothing better than a big pay per view. But it, the elephant in the room is all these guys. Are is fought. boxing different? No. Well, boxing is different because they. They, they, it, it's different because you get one fight. It's not a buildup. Right. They don't do a good job explaining who's who. Um, you know, the top dogs are take life changing money for one fight. I just think that I just think when you do the sport of MMA, and again, you sign up for it, but it is life changing. It does leave lasting damage. You're going to have a lot of damage. You're going to have things that are going to affect you. You know who I can't stop thinking about? Bring up the card, Chin. Hold I on, forget don't his tell name. Me, don't tell me. You you weren't there for the fight. Uh, for it was the an undercard. Fight. I can I don't know why. I don't know why. I can't stop thinking about this kid. His name's Josh Quinnen. He fought Danny Barlow. There, Quinlan. Quinlan. Danny Barlow, yeah. Quinlan. He fought Danny Barlow. He he looks like a half Asian guy. Half Asian yeah. Hawaiian, mm-hmm. and he comes from Dana White Contender Series. He got knocked out in his last fight. And he's coming in this fight, and he's a chemical engineer, smart guy, black belt in jiu-jitsu, talented fighter, good footwork. He fights another up-and-comer, Danny Barlow, who's a savage. And he got knocked down his last fight. He's never been knocked out before. And I remember as he's walking out, I was like, oh, I know what he's I, – I can relate to. I got knocked out. And then that next fight, there is so much pressure, and all you can think about is not getting knocked out. I can't stop thinking about this kid. I've never met him, never seen him fight before. Handsome son of a bitch. Chemical engineer. Chemical engineer. Jesus. He gets knocked down his last fight. Going into this fight, I can see on his face, it's all you can think about. Because I've been there. I got knocked out by Roy. They booked me, whatever, six months later. I'm fighting Chase Gormley from my home crowd. The only thing you can think about is not getting knocked out. Oh, my God. I don't want to deal with that again. The amount of pressure is so intense. Yeah. I can see it on this kid's face. He gets knocked out. Mm. <laughs> He's 0-2 in the UFC now. Is he out? And, no, they'll probably give him one more. But you're 0-2, two knockouts. Yeah. 
You thought this was your ticket to the chocolate factory. You thought this is what you're going to do for the rest of your life. Yep. There's been a change of plans. These motherfuckers are ruthless. All I get, and he's a chemical engineer. Kid can do it. Yeah, man. It's a really, really hard sport, and you make one mistake, and you get shut off. I mean, it's... So he didn't get knocked out. He, got, he, he lost an unanimous decision. He had the canceled bout. No. Then he gets he, knocked didn't out. Didn't he lose in a minute, 18 seconds? Oh, in round three? They shut, he, they it was like a standing... I think it was standing TK or something like that. Yeah, I forgot. That was bad. Um, yeah, that's the thing, man. It's... Uh, mm. I don't know. I, I that it, When I watched Alexander, I was like, wow. That's how that goes. The whole... All the energy right over there. But what's weird? It's, it's the party. But it's also the best because because we know the stakes. Yeah. There's nothing like it. Like the Super Bowl, the Niners lost. I'm like, yeah, that sucks. I'm over it. Those boys are compensated. Whatever. It's a team sport. You know, the coach is messed up. Yeah. The they have next season. Yeah, you're. The alone. fighters don't have next you're season. Alone. It's part of the glory. It's what brings you glory too. That's, That's why, why the why peaks are so high. The yeah. valleys are so That's low. It. So maybe you need it. Maybe you you can't have. The highest peaks without having very low valleys. Well, it's maybe. fighting. It's just fighting. Maybe that's, that's why fighting. fighting's. That's so fighting. maybe maybe that is fighting. The peaks are the highest. The valleys are the absolute yes. lowest. Yeah. And that's kind of why people who fight a lot of times don't have options. The, the, what makes them great? The minute they start having options, they're like, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, like you Connor, know something about that. Like Connor, it's like what? Yeah. What? Yeah. You, you, why would he get ready? You want to fight one like a Marab or someone like that, like with that kind of hunger, where he's got nothing. Well, else? not Marab's at forty five. You know it's saying, not happening. But, but, I'm not but, but even at, even Chandler, why? But, but, but what? You've won. You have two hundred million in the bank minimum. You want to do a camp to fight Chandler? I saw Chandler there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, why you want to do that? For what? You've won, dude. You beat the game. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing? And I love him. He's my favorite fighter. Fight again? For what? Well, that's also that thing in him. You know, that's part of what he is. He is a But it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a curse. Yeah. No, you're set. Yeah. Chandler's not. Don't fight that guy. Yeah. Don't fight that guy. <laughs> Let's say Cejudo. He's set. Marab's not. Don't fight that guy. Yeah. Don't fight the guy. He has nothing to lose. Jeez. He will fuck you up, man. Yep. He's fighting for food on his table. You're not. You're set. You can afford food. Yeah. This guy can't. You're, don't fight that guy. Yeah. 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 I don't know, man. That's why it's great. It's also why it's the worst. Yeah, you burn that bright, you're going to, you know, especially that lower weight class. Any weight class now, yeah. UFC. It's not just lower. 85's a mother. Yeah, but you have a longer lifespan, I'm saying. Not really. More knockouts at 85. Yeah, but if you're, if you're like, I didn't know that stat about being 32, uh, you know. I don't know, man. It's like, uh, yeah, I guess that's what, that's what gets me. I guess I guess it's it you should feel a little bit like that. I guess what I look at is I go, that's what it looks like to kill a person. You know, if you let it go, that's they would dance. die. But it's true. If you let it go. Rogan said it's the closest you can come to watching two men kill each other with their with their bare hands, right? And then they stop I, I would, it. I'd beg to differ that bare knuckles closer. Well whatever. Because actually okay, more so beer. You're, you're you know yeah, yeah, but you're watching guys get shut off, choked out all yeah, the time. Yeah. And I guess you see that I love the sport. I love how hard it is. But then, then you see the crowd just ah, like they just love and it. And they don't. The guy loses ah, more beer. Yeah, and then you He's see like, people oh, getting booed oh. because of some bullshit. But again, what are they supposed to do though? Yeah, like they're not. That's they part didn't of invest the, in, it's part of the crowd. That's also part of the sport. You yeah. want it, you want a rambunctious crowd. You want a you want a savage crowd. You want you know you want people laughing with blood in their mouth. There's something about that. So you know when 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 you're winning, ooh man, you want you love it. So that's your music. When you're losing, that's that's you know that's your funeral march. You know, so I don't know, man. I, I uh, that's why it's the best. I don't know how to feel. It's also yeah. the worst, but it's also the best. Yeah. No, I'm saying yeah. I guess I guess I'm allowed to feel mixed about it. I love it, and I and I, I hate it. 